Nike Seekers, I'm Nick. The other day we showed some benchmarking results from MSI's RTX 2080 Gaming X Trio card, so I decided I'd put it through its paces in Linux, well, more specifically Ubuntu 18.04, and compare it to how it performs versus Windows 10. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, well, minus like the day and a half that we took off, but yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Let's see how this card performs in Ubuntu 18.04 compared to Windows 10. This is gonna be a little bit shorter than usual, so strap yourself in because it's gonna be a good time, not a long time. This video is brought to you by Thermaltake and the Level 20 GT Full Tower Case. Featuring support for EATX motherboards, four tempered glass panels with a lockable hinged door, the latest I.O. port options including USB Type-C and USB 3.0, and support for basically any type of custom water cooling system you could ever possibly imagine. Find out more about the Level 20 GT at the link in the description. As usual, we're using our GPU test system which is running the ASUS TUF Z370 Plus gaming motherboard with the i7-8700K and 16 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z clocked at 3200 MHz. We're also running the latest NVIDIA drivers for Linux as of recording, which is the driver version 4... 10.57, I think, from memory. I, I can't remember, but it's the latest one. We ran two different benchmarks that use the GPU in different ways to see what performance looks like in different situations. Right. First off, let's start off with Rise of the Tomb Raider. We use this benchmark because it runs natively in Linux in Steam without the need to use Proton or Wine. All tests would perform on the high preset with 16 times anti-aliasing with three different resolutions. Now, the Linux version of Rise of the Tomb Raider uses the Vulkan API, which makes these tests very interesting, basically because the Windows version doesn't support Vulkan. We performed three tests in total, and yeah, the scores are the readouts from the built-in benchmarking tool. Just be aware though, like usual, that these are just benchmarks and might not actually reflect how well these titles will actually run. For the 1080p test in Linux with Vulkan, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 get an average score of 128 frames per second. That's around 9.5% faster than Windows with DX11. For the 1440p test in Linux with Vulkan, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 get an average score of 85 frames per second. That's around 9% faster than Windows with DX11. Lastly, the 4K test in Linux with Vulkan, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 get an average score of 46 frames per second. That's around about 12% faster than Windows with DX11. Pretty impressive results, but these gaps in performance are basically down to the fact that Vulkan is a lower level API than DX11, and it utilizes the hardware quite a lot better. It's the success at OpenGL, so it's much better optimized. The adoption of Vulkan on Windows applications is slow, but AAA titles like Doom and Wolfenstein use it, and yeah, the performance of those games, if you've never played them with Vulkan, it's, it's phenomenal. But I think I'm getting a little bit off topic, so let's move on to the Unigen Superposition Test. For the Superposition Test, we performed three tests in total. We used the 4K Optimized preset, the 1080p Extreme preset, and a custom 1440p test with depth of field and motion blur turned off. Superposition in Linux uses OpenGL, not Vulkan. The Unigen engine actually supports Vulkan but at the moment it hasn't been rolled into superposition for benchmarking so we have to live with OpenGL for now. For the 1440p custom test we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve an average frame rate of 123 frames per second. That's around 14% slower than Windows but that, that doesn't surprise me because it is OpenGL after all. For the 4K optimized test, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve an average frame rate of 62 frames per second. That's around 8% slower than Windows. Lastly, for superposition, we did the 1080p extreme benchmark. I, I, I don't have very high expectations of this benchmark, to be honest, because even in Windows, it's really hard to get a high score. And yeah, the disadvantage here with Linux is 
OpenGL only. For the 1080p Extreme test, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve an average frame rate of 42 frames per second. That's 21% slower than Windows. Wow, that is quite a lot slower. Based on those results, the MSI RTX 2080 Gaming X Trio seems to be faster in Linux with Vulkan only. That being said though, I think if these benchmarks had Vulkan support in Windows, they would get close to the same results with Linux probably only being like maybe one to 2% faster, basically, because of Linux's kernel design. To be honest though, I'm not surprised that the OpenGL tests fared worse because Vulcan is the spiritual success at OpenGL. So all of that development has been shifted over to Vulcan. So it, it makes a lot of sense. I'd love to do some more testing in Linux with Vulcan as the RTX cards and RTX itself matures a little bit later down the line. If you want me to revisit this in the future, let me know down in the comments and we'll visit this whenever I get around to doing it, maybe in a year or a couple of months, I, I, I'm not sure. If you're interested in getting anything mentioned in this video, we have links to all of that stuff down in the description down below. Anytime you use those links, it just helps out the channel. Yeah, you guys know how they work. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thanks so very much for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. And actually I tried Doom with Vulkan in uh, Windows and it didn't work. But that was with the first revision of the RTX drivers. Maybe it's changed now, but yeah, I couldn't get it to work before. It only worked in OpenGL. But let's 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 see what we can do with Vulkan in Windows in another video.